Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street with me, Vicky Carroll. It is absolutely brilliant to have your company this morning. Our second live show, we made it, we made it. Uh, thank you so much for all of your lovely, lovely messages, all of your fantastic comments on Facebook, all of your messages uh, to, to Hayley, to Neil. We've all had such an amazing week, exciting week of reading through all of your lovely comments. For anybody that's never watched before, never seen me before, as I say, I'm Vicky. Um, I've been sewing for the last last couple of years, the last sort of two years or so, and I sort of have fallen into this um, just by people that I knew that were working on a, a channel called Sewing Quarter. It was a very, very, very popular community. It wasn't just a, a shopping channel, it was a community. Uh, and I have had the most amazing experience over the last two years, learning so, so much from everybody who's been around me, but also from, from you at home. Uh, all aspects of sewing. I mean, it's 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 quilting, dressmaking, bag making, toy making, embroidery, cross stitch. I mean, just to name a few. There's there's so many amazing, amazing mediums, and every every single one of those aspects has its own community. When I say its own community, they all sort of intertwine into each other, and the sewing world and the sewing family in general is just the most incredible family to be in. So for anybody that is is new to Sewing Street or new to the sewing world, oh my word, this channel isn't just for experienced sewers. This is for anybody that wants to maybe start a new hobby or start a new skill. Uh, and we're here thanks to Steve Bennett, who is the founder of Gemporia. We're in the Gemporia umbrella as well. Uh, and the reason that Steve wanted to get it on board is obviously that he saw that Sewing Quarter came to an end over Christmas, which was really, really sad, and he saw there was a huge sort of uh, gap in the market in the industry. Uh, as there is such a huge following for sewing, he had lots and lots of messages of people saying, you need to bring it back, please can you bring it back? And he saw a different sort of side to it that we always talk about, but actually we very sort of rarely I, really talk about on air and that was to do with the mindfulness so Steve is a huge advocate of um, you know of, um, of mindfulness exactly that and sustainability uh, and eco-friendly products as well he was in India and he found uh, a supplier that actually had ocean cotton now I'd never heard of this and I know a lot of people actually hadn't heard of it and it's a cotton that is made from plastic bottles in the ocean they turn it into plastic pellets which gets turned into yarn which then gets produced into, into cotton which we're going to be able to bring to you at some point so there's so much to look forward to and we're so lucky to have Steve on board there is loads and loads and loads and loads and loads to tell you and I could stay here for the whole hour talking about it but we've got Jane Brogan here today so uh, I do want to just quickly go over a few things as I know a lot of people are new to us we are a brand new channel so how do you watch? You can watch us on Freeview Channel uh, 73. You can watch us via the website, which at the moment we're borrowing our sister channel jewellery makers website, part of their website, but you can find it at www.sewingstreet.com and that will take you uh, to this page, which it will redirect you basically to jewellery makers webpage. Um, let me press play. There we go. You'll see that I am... Um, I'm on a re am I on a replay still? I don't know what I've done with the technical technical iPad. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me, but if you scroll down, you'll then see how to sign up to our newsletter, which will keep you in the loop of everything that's going on. Then underneath, you'll be able to find the products that we're going to be selling today. We've got the very, very exciting Elna 680 Plus, which I know so many of you love. These are already available to buy. Underneath you will have seen yesterday's show as well. We had Debbie Shaw here. Lots of her incredible products as well. Uh, also, another way of getting in touch with us, what we are going to be planning on doing is making the show as interactive as possible, getting all your suggestions in. So on Facebook, this is how you get in touch with us on Facebook. I'm just going to have a quick cough. Bear with me a second. Sorry about that. It is live. We are on day two of being live. Uh, of course, within the first couple of minutes, I have a cough. Uh, so it's facebook.com forward slash Sewing Street TV. And that is where we want to have all of your messages uh, come through to. If you've got any questions for Jane about Elna, uh, about any of the machine's functions, or if you just want to say hello. If you've got any questions or suggestions about the show also going forward, then we'd love to hear from you. As I say, this isn't just a, a, a shopping channel. This is a community, uh, and it really is the, the most amazing family to be part of. 
So as I say, there's so many uh, of the team that you potentially may already know if you were if you were a viewer of Sewing Quarter back last year. Uh, and even when you call the customer service team, which is a new telephone line number running along the bottom of the screen, it's completely free to call. And our customer service team are lovely. They're literally down the road here in, in, in the Midlands, in Redditch, uh, and they are so lovely. In fact, it's the same customer service team that we had when we were sewing quarters. So there's a, a lot of uh, voices that you'll probably already know. But it's the same with the warehouse, actually. There's a, a lot of our warehouse team that have uh, have been come across with us to, to Sewing Street, which is lovely. So we've got Zoe, we've got Adri, uh, um, uh, Andrea, pronounce it properly, Andrea uh, and Zoe, they're part of our, our warehouse team as well, which is lovely. Still one PMP all day, it's £3.95, one post and packaging all day long, just like before. So if you, if you check out 10 times, come back, keep coming back and checking out throughout the day, it will still only count as one order, even with the sewing machine, which is brilliant. Also, just to remind you, do make sure that you uh, that you sign up to our newsletter and that will keep you in the loop of everything that's going on over the next couple of days. Also, what I would recommend today, as I know there was a lot of people doing it yesterday, uh, is, is to create an account. So then when you see something you like, you can just simply check out and it's not the faff of going through creating account again. So don't worry, we are a new channel, so you will need to create a new account. But I really recommend today, if you've just got a couple of minutes, create your account ready to go. So shall we get Jane Brogan? in come on in there's the website www.sewingstreet.com uh, that's how you watch and how you can buy don't forget to get in touch with us with any messages on facebook jane hello Good morning it's lovely it's, to see you again. oh it's so so yes. lovely to see you yeah. just a little uh truck down the road for you it today isn't is, it yes You're... it's literally five miles from home Oh, for me, so that's fabulous. No early mornings on the train anymore. Well, welcome that's to Sewing Street. Thank you. How exciting it's that we're fabulous here. fabulous that we're all back again, yes. Now, we've so. built a, a relationship. There's so many of us that have uh, built relationships with Jane over the last few years. But for anybody that has not met mm -hmm. you before, uh, tell us a bit about yourself. So who are you and what sort of me, is your involvement with Elna? My Elmer? involvement is with I work with um, Elna and Janemi Machines yeah. together. I'm sort of an area manager for the south of England. So I look after the... All of the south, so it keeps me quite busy. Yeah, that's a bit along catchy. with these, yes. Yeah, so we do we do exhibitions. I look after retailers. We do in house things. So we just keep really really busy, and we just support the machines really well. It's an excellent brand. It's been around for a very long time. Oh so, yeah, it has yeah. been around for eighty years. This yeah, we look at nineteen forty. Elna yeah. started. Yes, so they've been around for a very long time. Uh, this yeah. is without a doubt one of Elna's. Well, uh, one of the flagship machines. It is, isn't yes. It? It's, it was very, very popular. I think it was a favourite machine to oh. be honest, of a lot of people. Well, we're hoping that this becomes our our, our sort of um, go to machine. I know mm. so many people that own this machine already. So if it is exclusive to us, at it Sewing is, Street yes, as well. And we also have another little add on today, don't we? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Go on, you can Go tell on. everybody. We've managed to get, for a limited number of machines, we've got a five-year warranty. So normally in the UK it will be two years. But just for the launch and the limited number, we've got a five-year warranty included. See, that would normally be an extra cost, wouldn't yes, it? Yes. That would yes. normally be an extra cost. Yeah. So we've got exclusivity here in the UK. I know you can get it in Europe, but in the UK... It's, it's under exclusive. two years normally, but we've got five years just for Ooh. our launch, which is great. By the way, that isn't for... That can't just go on and on and on. That no. is for a limited number. It's a limited number. number of machines, yes. So yeah. if you are thinking about mm. uh, maybe upgrading your machine or starting... I mean, this is... This is a machine that you're not going to need to upgrade every few no, years, is no. it? No, it, it's because it's got so many different features on it, and there's so much you can do with it. And because it's got a slightly bigger throat space here as well, yeah. it's ideal for quilting, soft furnishings, dressmaking, everything like that. It's not purely for one thing. It's for most of us now, me included. We do all sorts of things, don't we? I primarily quilt, but I make soft furnishings. Yeah. I do a bit of dressmaking. What did you stuff. start out doing? Many years ago, I started out in a factory making garments for Marks and Spencers. Did you? A very, very long time ago. Oh, and I made bespoke shoes for quite a few years. I've done all kinds of things. <laughs> Was it like ideas. Coronation Street? No, 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 no. That's a very <laughs> false, that's a very I false it. picture, yes. Oh. Not a bit like that at all. No, <laughs> no. But it's great. But I've been in the same industry for a very, very long time. And it, latterly, I went into teaching. So I used yeah. to teach fairly locally around here. So. Yeah. 
was quite nice. I still see a lot of the ladies and gents who used to come to class, so yeah. that's always good. I know a lot yeah. of people have messaged in saying that they've been on your workshops. Yeah. Yeah. Well and we did class. some workshops before with Stone Court as well, didn't we? The Bigger yeah, Machines. Absolutely. Actually here, which yeah. went really, really well with a lot of the ladies, so that was good. Yeah, hopefully yeah. we're going to be doing more. Uh, Yvonne's messaged in, Hannah, saying... She says, I love watching Jane. Thank you, Yvonne. She says, I learned so much. I learned so much watching her in yeah. Sewing Quarter. And so, so pleased that you're mm. part of the Sewing Street yeah. team. That's great. So, yeah. And I Thank see a lot of the much. customers as well at exhibitions and things. They'll always come and say hello. Were you at Stitches at the weekend? I was, yes. Yeah? Yeah. It's uh, on a, um, a day off capacity. Right. Not okay. actually working oh, there. I meet nice. my colleagues and we just go and have a look and catch up with people. So, yeah. This is what I love. A lot of people who I know work in the, the sewing industry. Their hobby is still sewing. Yes. Uh, it's still sewing, of course. Yeah. A lot of people who sort of have their genre of work like to do something different, but sewing people but are just all just sewing. It would be nice to have it. time to do it these yeah. days. I'm <laughs> constantly doing something else, so no. So let's go through the machine. So the 680 Plus, this yeah. is, why do you think that this is one of the, the flagship machines? It's just a nice, good, solid, all-round machine. Mm. It's capable of doing dressmaking, soft furnishings. You've got quilting stitches, applique stitches, nice range of buttonholes. Mm -hmm. um, you get a good range of feet with it as well, so you haven't got to go out and start spending more money before you can start some of your projects. I mean, the feet that you can see yeah. here, we're going to go through individually, mm -hmm. but that, that is all included they in the They all price, come with it, it yeah. Standard. Yes, the nice extension table comes with it. Yeah. At well. what point would you use your extension table? I never take mine off. Oh, it yeah. just supports the work so much better. So you can just slide off the... It's this piece. If I can get it off here, the free arm piece here just slides off. That's good. And the table slides arm. on. Yeah, so you've got the free arm if you're doing any trouser legs or um, bags even, anything yeah. like that. It's great. Ruler work, I suppose you're going to need Ruler a, work, a, yes. an extension yeah. table. Yeah. But like you say, it's just good to have that extra space. If it is a, a workroom that you've got that you can just leave it on there, yeah. it's always it handy. Yeah. Dressmakers yeah. or quilters. Yeah. I think that's what I love about it is that mm -hmm. it does... For every sort of skill, when you yeah. know, we do the show and we've got a lot of there. different demonstrators, yeah. they all will they use all, that machine. Yeah, it's very, very popular. I see a lot of ladies at shows who have actually got the machine... Or they're saving up to buy it, things like that. Yeah. So, yeah, it's really good. It is a lovely looking machine, isn't it? It's very nice. And it's yeah. going to last. It's got an amazing build quality. It has, yes, yeah. It's a good, solid, um, it's a well thought out, well engineered, well designed machine mm -hmm. that's going to last you for a very, very long time. And remember, yeah. it is exclusive to us here in the UK at, at Sewing Street. It is exclusive to us, which is very exciting. We're so excited about that. Right, so some of the features and functions. Where do you want to start, so, oh, Jane? Where do we begin today? <laughs> this is the question. <laughs> um, there's lots of things with the Elna. There's all sorts of little bits and pieces. So, again, you've got storage. If we can see it in here. So oh, you've got for your bobbins. Let me pop this out. The buttonhole foot hides There's in here. There's places as well, little like There's little hidey drawers, places. Like the, the buttonhole foot actually comes in there when mm -hmm. the machine arrives. So we haven't forgot to put it in. It yeah. is there somewhere. Um, so we can leave that out as well. Pop that out. No, that's just on there. Nice handy storage. In fact, there's another bit of storage know, in there, I isn't say there? That. I that's love a nice this. Hidden this is an illness. This is an illness. You won't find this anywhere. This is an illness special. So you've got it here. And all your basic feet, your standard press of foot. They're all labelled. Your over edge foot, your old hem, your zipper, and your satin stitch foot. And you've also got a little pivot pin, which is an Elna exclusive. So are they all included? The feet that you're seeing Everything's there, that's included, included. And you can just pop them in there so they're easy to get and you know where they are because it pop, does pop forward as well. Oh, so nice. they're easy access to take them in and out. That's, that's really good. Really and good. all of those uh, feet, if you think about how much it would cost to then add them up if yeah. you were if you yeah. were purchasing them in individually, it would add yeah, up, wouldn't it? you get them all with the machine. So your screen is an LED machine. It's an LED screen. screen on here, which is quite... I'm going to pop that down out of the way. So all the stitches are shown up here. So mode one tends to be utility stitches, buttonholes. You've got a plique in there. You've got satin stitches. So that's all, say, it's a utility category more than anything mode two is a lot of all your decoratives and your quilting stitches as well as i say i oh, quilt nice. so you've got a lot of stitches along the top here and i would use all these for crazy quilting a lot of it just decorative mm -hmm. just on the tops and bits and pieces i have actually bought in with me today because a lot of them this is a fabulous stitch this serpentine stitch which is the first one here and it's one we don't use very often right. but we have i just had a little little play with it so that's just the smaller one is just the default setting mm -hmm. then i've just lengthened it and it's absolutely brilliant for filling in big long areas so if you've got big borders to fill in and you're thinking well, i'm not 
quite confident to do really, really straight lines. Serpentine stitch, it's a fabulous stitch. And that's a little quick quilt sandwich, isn't it? It's a little quilt yeah. sandwich. It's on. I just popped it on with the walking foot and yeah. off we went, yeah. So the walking foot as well is included in this, Walking isn't foot's it? included here, yeah. Uh, now that, I know, isn't that £50 normally? It's with... £49 pounds to buy normally on its own, the walking yeah. foot, so that's really good, but it's included. And, and it isn't just for quilting. It's as not well. just for quilting. I use it for soft furnishings. Yeah. Um, if you're dressmaking or if you've got a slippy fabric or stretchy fabric, mm -hmm. then it's brilliant. A lot of people think it's just for quilting, but it's not. I know no, that there's um, so many uses. One of my friends, it. Becky, bag maker, she mm. uses it all, all the time. The bags, it's it fabulous, yeah. You can just get the layers straight through it without any worries at all. For anybody, by the way, who is struggling to make an account, if you call the customer service team, uh, they will be able to help you out. If you're struggling to make one on the, on the website, then definitely call the team. It's free to call, and they'll be able to help you out. Okay, so um, other feet that you're getting while we're right, talking about we the go, walking We'll get foot. through feet, should we, first. So we've got the walking foot. You also have the quilting bar which goes with that, which is brilliant if you want to do some cross hatch stitching or if you want to do parallel lines. Just one word of warning, slide it in the back like that, pop it in because the back is angled. Mm -hmm. When you're going to take it out, slide it out like that. Right. Don't try and force it back up because you will eventually snap the back off doing that. So it's all walking feet the same, just pop it in like that. And then you would do your first line and use that as a guide. Mm -hmm. The key, though, is when you're using that, when you're doing your next line, watch the guide, not the machine. Ah. Otherwise, you'd probably go a bit wobbly. But so that's, that's really handy, handy if you are doing yeah. your crosshatch or just yeah, simple straight line is. quilting. And there's another quilting bar which slips in the back of the foot holder. So if you were doing decorative stitches or something like that, you've still got that option mm -hmm. to get them really well evenly spaced. I think it's a great machine to grow with, isn't it? So I always say to people when I'm talking from exhibitions, get something to grow into because right. otherwise you're thinking, that's great, do me now. Mm -hmm. And six months down the line when you've gone off and started doing different things, you go, I wish I'd got one. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Paul's saying that's what he's like with clothes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> right, so is zipper foot. Zipper foot, yeah, that's great. Testing me. Yeah. Uh, classic. It yeah, is really it's useful. It's a zipper foot, yes. Again, yep. dressmaking, bag making, it's great. Again, I use them for doing piping and things like that because you can get yeah. really good needle movement on it. That's your quarter of an inch foot. This was the, the first foot that I ever used when I started yeah. my patchwork class. Yeah. It was invaluable, in fact, to it me. It is, they're fabulous. And if you look, all the feet have got a little letter on here. That's the O foot. And it will tell you on the machine which foot to use for which stitch. See, that's so, so good. Guide as well. So if you're not sure, just have a little look and it will always show you up here. Because I know a lot of people that may be um, not used to a computerised machine mm. and a bit scared of the sort yeah. of digital mm -hmm. display, but actually it's really user-friendly. It's so, so easy to use. And again, I would say to people, if you've altered your stitch in any way, you've got an exact reference to what you had it set at, so you can go back to it. You're not trying to guess. What's this one? This looks That's a strange contraption. Your, it's like an overcasting foot, okay. an over edge foot. Uh, so, so what would you use over an over edge foot for? Ne for? Neating, if you haven't got an overlocker, it's brilliant. Ah. Um, so you can just neaten the edges of the fabric with it. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you get that as standard as well? That's standard. That's your free motion foot. Okay, so what's the difference between these two? Because okay. they look very similar, don't they? They are. That's a standard free motion. Um, it's a darning embroidery foot. And as you're sewing, the foot's going up and down. Right. With the machine, because that's a little bar on the top where your fingers are. There we go. That pops over where you screw the needle in. So that makes it go up and down for free okay. motion. This one, the convertible one, which is the one I absolutely love, and again, that's £49 to buy normally. You've got a screw on the side here, so you can actually alter the height of it off your work. So if you've got a really heavy quilt, you can ah. take it up a bit. If you're doing something finer, you can drop it down. And it doesn't hop, it glides. Oh, nice. And you've also got... That's the closed toe. You've also got the little open toe and the circular one, which you can use for a zigzag or if you're echo quilting. And they just, there's a little screw on the back where you can just interchange them. Oh, brilliant. And that's got a little crosshair as well. So you can yep. do some really intricate yep. work with that. Mm -hmm. I do love free motion. It, it, it's, it is it's quite addictive. Really addictive. And again, with that, we also do a little ruler work foot that you can buy separately. So if you've got rulers, yeah, then you can use that. Oh, fantastic. And that's normally £50. Pounds. That's that, included. That, yeah, that's included with the machine. Yeah. So you've got £100 pounds just on those two feet. This one, I'm not, I've never used this one before. That is for this. sewing buttons on. Oh, yeah. Okay. So what there's, a little, there's a little button here, you can see. Yeah. And that's for sewing on buttons. On our pops. That's number 33, isn't it's it? This yeah. one here, there's a little picture of a button. Okay. And that's your button sewing. So it will tell you you need to drop the feed, tell you you sit the button underneath. 
Here's, here's one I made earlier. <laughs> That's one of my folders. And you can see it's not just for buttons. I've sewn on. There's a little, little ring there if you're doing decorative or if you're doing oh, blind, something nice. like that. Little flowers, little bows. So you can just stitch them on. I always... You sit it so the needle drops and then it will go backwards and forwards automatically. Oh. I always just pop it through the first first one to make sure I've got the button straight. When I you've know, done a few buttons, you, your eye sort of sits it properly. I know yeah. a lot of people struggle with, you know, little fiddly things like yeah, that. So but that's it's really brilliant, even for little, little bows and things oh, like I love that. that. So it's just so easy, just so quick to stitch them on. Yes. And you know it's really firm and secure as well. Absolutely. Remember, this is exclusive to us in the UK and we have a limited amount of stock that we're offering Five year guarantee. Five year guarantee, yeah. Fantastic. Normal, uh, normal is, is two years. Yeah. So if you're after that limited amount of sales, I'll keep you updated, by the way. Mm. But once they've gone, then you get two years. It's two year warranty. You can add on the extra warranty if you want. Yeah. At a cost. I yeah. think it's £60. Okay. So, but also I will say, while I remember, is please keep all your packaging. Because mm -hmm. if you have to send the machine back for any reason, it must come in its original box. So. Okay. That's good to know yeah. as well. I think most people do. I keep my boxes for all sorts. I know, you go in the loft and you're thinking, I haven't even got that Hoover in, that vacuum <laughs> exactly. cleaner anymore yeah. or that laptop or whatever. So why have I still got the box? So we've now got satin stitch feet here. Right. So we've got two. Ah, so there's, these are, uh, are named F and F2. Two. Right, so what's the difference with these? You can see that one's open and that one's closed. Oh. That one's really good visibility. It's quite nice for doing applique. Lovely. So you've got a really good visibility off it. And it tells you when to use the satin stitch feet. Can I just pop that one over? It tends to be for heavier decorative stitches because we probably can't pick it up on here. But there's like a little indent here, isn't there? Yeah, I can see. Yeah. So it allows all the heavy stitching to run through oh. without sort of dragging on it because your standard foot is really flat on the bottom. Very so, clever, isn't it? I so mean, that's what they're for. It, it, it really does, yeah. like you say. It, it goes. Mm. It's very user friendly. So if you want to, if you select a certain stitch on there, mm. it will tell it you. It will tell you when, when it, which foot you want to use. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So and that one is really nice. That's a closed one. Saying so, the one you've got there is an open toe. So you've got really good visibility on it yeah. so for decorative stitches or applique, anything like that. So that's really good. Brilliant. Can I remind you, if you've got any questions for Jane, we're only live for this hour today. We are um, live for an hour every single day, every morning at 9am. Uh, and then in a few weeks, we'll be two hours and then three yeah. hours and four hours of building it up. So mm. if you've got any questions for Jane, as I know there's a lot to ask with, the mach with this machine, there's so mm. much that it does. If you've got any messages, it's Facebook. The way to get in touch with this is Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Sewing Street TV. And you can send any of your messages in Hannah is in the in, in the gallery. She's keeping an eye on it. If I'm not looking at the iPad whilst we're going through with Jane, so she'll send me any messages through. Um, is this a blind hem foot? It is. Yes. I use this to turn up my, my sister's trousers. Yep. yep, it's brilliant. You can tell it. Some people I've had before, and they go, "No, I've got a blind hem. Foot. I've got a, an in the ditch quilting foot." I go, "No, it's a blind hem foot." If you pop it over, if you turn it over, because it's got little grooves on the bottom. Right. It's also brilliant for doing curtain linings and things like oh, that. Oh, that's yeah. a good idea. Pop quick blind hem along the bottom. We've had so. so many people on Facebook asking us to do curtain shows as well and blind shows. Go. So we, we, we definitely need <laughs> to be doing space. that. space. And that's a little rolled hem foot. And I was watching Victoria and, and she and she's correct what she says. It takes practice. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have done it live on air before now, but it does take a little bit of practice. Right, OK. And it's worth, you can just, there's a couple of ways of doing it, but you can just fold and press your tiny hem first and pop it through. So, oh, so But it does really lovely long hems. Yeah. yeah. Again, probably not much more than patchwork weight fabric uh -huh. because it's too thick to fold it properly then. Am I getting confused if I'm thinking of like a pipe piping? You wouldn't do piping? No. No, this no. is like if you've got a really thin silk scarf and you Something want to like do that. like... Yeah, you can just do it. It literally just rolls, turns a hem under. Yeah. Rolled hem is a different thing again. Oh, you yeah. know, if you're making... Um, <laughs> if you're using like a lovely uh, Tana Lawn, yeah, something Liberty... Like that. It's brilliant. Yeah. Just to put, it just folds it, double fold, so you've got a rubber stitching on it, so it's a tiny, tiny hem. That, that comes mm. as standard as well with this yep. machine. Uh, then, right, we've got another... We've got a straight plate. stitch plate again, which is brilliant. If you look, you've got it where you've got the centre hole and a little drop either side. It's brilliant. The machine knows if we've changed it. OK, so and it, it won't will let only you. let us do these stitches. It's great for quarter inches, mm -hmm. for if I was doing long curtains, fine fabrics because it's not going to take it down into the machine. Right, okay, so you would put this on, and what does that stop it from chewing up? It stops it chewing up, yeah. If we pop this out, I'm going to lift this up here, and 
to change a stitch plate. It literally is this, which is great. Oh, that's really handy so to do. There's so you no don't need screws. to unscrew it. No, there's Absolutely. no screws. So if you can look at the two different ones, that one's got a much larger slot, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And that one. You can see the difference on it. So this one will allow this is what, the needle this is to a, swing this across is a decorative to do stitch the decorative. Plate, yeah, because it's got the swing. That one will just go into it that. It goes into the centre or to the left or right. So the machine knows if you've changed it, so it's not going to accidentally very clever. hit it and very, break. Very, very clever. Uh, whilst we're over at the machine then, I mean, it, it, the... Uh, it looks very, very bright. I know that that sounds silly, but it's compared to my it machine, is. it's got a really good light. Because we've got LED lights on these, they're, they're sort of more delicate. And we've also got extra lighting under here. You don't realise until that's not there how, how much the that difference, makes a difference it makes. Probably in the studio, you can't see it as much as you would at home. Yeah. But it does. I suppose if you're sewing in the evening after work, you, or you, mm. you want to have that natural light yeah. on it as well. If you put it down, I've got a much older machine at home with the older light bulb in it. And if I switch them on, it's just. There's just yeah. no comparison. Another reason that we love to use this on, on television is because it's actually very quiet as well. It is, yes. It's yeah. really quiet. I think mm. a lot of people, um, you know, a lot of people who are watching telly or mm. you're, and you're in the dining room, they're in the living room mm. and that you you've got a big slow loud because machine. It's lovely and quiet, yeah. Jeez. You've also got the extra high foot lift so I can take it up once and take it up again. Oh, so, so if you're using lots of layers. If you've got lots of layers, if you're making a coat or mm -hmm. your quilt or your curtains, you can lift it up higher to get the the fabric underneath without trying to pull it. Yeah, that's really, really handy. Nice. There you go. If you want to lift it again, I think the camera's there now. There, there we, we go. go. And again. So it's got that so extra it takes lift. It right the way up, yeah. Brilliant. So it's really handy. And the buttons on the front, uh, you've got some quick access, easy so access. So you buttons. have, so you've got the stop start here, so we don't need to use the foot pedal if you don't want to. I know some people who've never unpacked the foot pedal. Right. It just stays in the box. Because with the, if you combine it with the speed control, especially if you've got children sewing with mm -hmm. you, it means they haven't got to worry about reaching the foot pedal. And also you can be in charge of how fast they go. Yeah, that's so good. So they're not going to race off. Because whatever you do with the speed control, even with the foot pedal, you can put the foot to the floor and it won't... Run I know away with a it. lady that's um, had an operation on her leg yes, and it yeah. allowed her to continue yeah, sewing, to keep sewing yeah. using so that stop great. start button. Yeah. Which is really so this one is a manual reverse. So we press that and the machine will reverse. You've also got a lock stitch button here. So when you come into the end of your seam or your pattern or whatever, if you press the lock stitch, it will stop and tie off. Mm -hmm. If we're doing a decorative stitch, it will finish that stitch pattern repeat before it does that. Right, okay. And then we have the needle up and down button, so oh. that will put the needle in for you. So if I press see, that, see, that's it will just really put good. the needle in. It's great for pivoting because your hand's free then. Can you, does it have a memory that you can end your stitch always with the, the, yeah, it's the needle Yeah, it's down. an automatic, it's a default, so it will stay in. And also, because we've got the knee lift with it, yeah. knee lift pops in the front here. So if you've got a big quilt under there, needle's down, just press the knee lift and it lifts this foot for you. Do you use a knee lift? I've got a different machine. I've used one in the past, but yeah. mine's got an automatic foot lift now. Oh, so nice. it's slightly nice. different. Yeah, a bit spoiled these days. But they are very, very handy for yeah. literally hands free. So you just push it with your knee, mm -hmm. foot comes up so you can manoeuvre. Brilliant. Feel better. Let's pop that up. And then, of course, we have the magic scissor button. Oh, everybody loves that. Yeah. Everybody loves that. It makes life so much easier. Uh -huh. It saves a lot of thread, it saves a lot of time, and you just got that lovely neat finish. Both threads are tied off on the back as well. So. We've had a question come in for you, yep. Jane. Um, hello, Judith. Hello. Good morning. Thank you for your message, Judith. She's just asked what the weight of the machine is. Uh, uh, in fact, I think Hannah's got it there. Oh, well weight. done, Hannah. <laughs> so it's 10 kilograms. 10 kilos, yeah. Uh, so it is a weighted machine, but it's not... I mean, I've lifted machines uh, that we had in the, yeah. in the old studio that were, like, really yeah, heavy. You wouldn't want to move them. It's weighty. You can move it around and you, you can, can move it I tend to, if I'm going to carry a machine, I tend to obviously the lid down and I'll lift the hand up and I'll, but I'll put an arm underneath for right. a bit extra support just so it's easier. And it does come with a little carry case, you doesn't it? You have got our semi-rigid canvas case. It does come with yeah. your canvas case, which has got an extra pocket on the back as well mm -hmm. to keep any of and your instructions. it just instructions. slips over the top. So, yeah, and it's a dust cover as much as anything. Brilliant. Now, I just want to ask as well, right, so when we're looking at 1 PMP and 3.95 packaging, mm -hmm. there's nothing else extra. This is going to be coming from It comes directly from us, yes. Yeah. But it will be no more uh, no. packaging charge. No, 
no, none whatsoever. That is really good. That's very it? good, yes. So how long am I going to have to wait for it? Is it going to be We're probably weeks looking weeks weeks? about a week to ten days maximum oh, at the moment good. because we're just in the process, aren't we? Because we're, everything's very new, so yeah. we're just getting ourselves organised. But that's yeah. still really good because it yeah. will, as I say, come from Elna. So if you've bought mm. any of Debbie Shaw's stuff today on the website or if you've bought anything else from, from Sewing Street, then mm. it will come separately to yeah. that. Yeah, definitely. And yeah. make sure you keep this, the box. Yeah, <laughs> this is directly from us. Oh no. So, yep. Fantastic. Right, so the, the speed control we sort of mentioned briefly yeah. there, but that's really useful. So you've got useful, tortoise it? and hare, it's quite self explanatory, really. So it will go up and down. I tend to work with it about half speed most of the yeah. time. Say so with the foot pedaling, you can still control it, mm -hmm. but it won't go any faster than you've got the machine set, so that's quite handy. But so again, I know a lot of people who sew with children or grandchildren, and it's mm -hmm. ideal because you can really control what they're doing. Right, yeah, that's really handy. Uh, the the screen itself, it's got lots of different buttons of modes and it has. all sorts. So currently we're in mode one, which is your default, all machines default to a straight stitch. And we've got the width and the stitch length here. Okay, so... You've also got, it's an auto tension on the top here, so we don't have to worry about that. So if you want to select a different stitch in here, um, we literally just say we want to go for the cross stitch here. We can just put, where are we at? I'm upside down here, 67. And it just changes it for us. So user friendly, yeah. isn't it? It's it told really you is. you need foot F. F. So we need the satin stitch foot on. Right. And that's it, that's the standard width and length. The width is a centre because it's a nine millimetre stitch width, so yeah. it is a nice big wide stitch on here. Um, and the length, again, if you want to alter it, it won't go any longer than 2.5, but we can make it shorter. So even we though, I mean, it. how many stitches have you got on this machine? It's 170 in But total. then if you can alter them and you change can alter the them length and change and them, and we can put sequences together as well. So, so there's actually more than there's that. There's a lot more. You can do an awful lot more with it. Yeah. So changing your foot, it's told me that we need foot F. How easy is it to change? So I just lift the presser button. There's a little black button on the back here. Right. Press that. It drops oh. off. And we just pop this foot on. So I'm just pop that underneath. Put that on straight when I'm coming. There we go. And the foot's on. Oh. Just clips on. It's very easy to change. Very easy. Yeah. There's only a couple that you would need to use your screwdriver. You'd need it with the walking foot and the free motion feet. Then you just need to, uns yep, screwdrivers included. Yeah. I mean, so. everything's built mm. for the user. Everything is built yeah. with you in mind. So you've got everything that you're going to need. Plus, you have a very hefty instruction we manual. We have a lovely here. instruction manual. I don't it's know if brilliant. We can get it from the top, can we? I mean, you, you're you're not going to remember all of this necessarily, are you? I don't think we we uh, we're not need to hold it, Jane. There we go. Let's pop that round. So you've got the index at the front here, and it just talks you through the different parts of the machines. You've got a list here. It's almost like having a new car manual, isn't That's it? And it. You sit there going, this does this and this does this. Well, you're not going to remember everything no. that the, the people tell you when you pick it up at the garage straight away, no. are you? You're going to. I always say to people read. with a new sewing machine, just sort of open it up, get it set up. Make yourself a cushion cover or a bag. Just use the basics okay. on it and then go back in yeah. as you want to, instead of trying to digest everything at once. I'm definitely a visual learner, so it's nice mm, to see so the pictures I, yeah. are very clear mm -hmm. as well, aren't they? You've got lots of description, yeah. but also it's not just words and no, words and no, words. It is very, very clear. And then nice line drawing. Sometimes you get photographs in manuals, yeah. and I don't find them as easy. Right, so to understand, if, so. if I want to, um, you can also contact Elna, can't you? Yes, this, we've got customer service, yeah. It's based here in the UK, which, yes, is, yeah. which is great to know as well, isn't it, if you want to call mm -hmm. them. And uh, as I mentioned, for a limited group, well, a limited number of machines we're also offering, uh, it's very own five-year five year warranty. warranty. Yeah, so is, do you need to fill out your little guarantee card, your warranty card, or is that... Yeah, you fill that out, but then you will also get a certificate yeah. from us at head office Brilliant. with the extra three-year warranty on it, so oh, it will be fantastic. done. So just keep that because it's got the serial number of the machine and everything on. So Brilliant. We, can then do um, those. we need to finish our feet, don't we? So yeah, we've we got do. spill cap covers here. Mm -hmm. So you get two of each. The other small one is on the machine. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you match them to the size of your spool of thread. So if you've got a large spool of thread, use that one. Right. If you've got the standard, the slimmer ones, that one. And you've also got these two little ones. Quite a lot of the threads now. Now, some of them are on quite long cardboard tubes, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. Um, so you need these, and they're the only ones that go on the machine with the little teeth oh, pointing inwards, and they just slip before. into the end of it, and it just holds it for you so it doesn't yeah. get tangled up. So that's really handy. Yeah, so you've got five bobbins here. There's one in the machine and four, and they are standard bobbins across all Genomian elements. There's one at Genomian machine that doesn't take them, but that's a slightly different one. But 
the bobbins are standard otherwise. Mm -hmm. And you've also got, which I absolutely love, oh, yes, you've got the fabulous little Elner bobbin case. Oh, I love, that's why I love yes. Elner, because you've always got something that nothing, you know, that nobody else has got. And they're absolutely brilliant, because you've got your bobbins in here. But the lovely thing with these is they've got a little disc on the top, oh. so you can pop your thread underneath, so you don't end up with a whole spaghetti nest of threads everywhere. Yeah. Oh, just that's so under. handy. Yeah. And it comes in a nice little A lovely special Elmer case. case with Elmer on the lid, which is fabulous. Oh, brilliant. I've, I've not so. seen that. All of this is included, by yeah, the way. You'll get this as standard. Um, some extra needles. Needles, yeah. Uh, are they all different? or You have got there, you've got the twin needle. Most people say to me, can my machine do twin needling? Yes, all machines can. This has got a, a twin needle safety feature on, which we'll look at later. So the other ones... Does it say on your on your dash there which ones you can use with twin needle? So we've got a twin needle here. So let me just see if we can go on with this one. Sometimes it will alter. So it's telling me I can't do it with that stitch. Right. Oh, see, I love how it helps you out yeah. so much. It won't let you do anything. So you're not you're going not to break to anything. It. So we've also got a nice quick return on this, so I know I can do it with a straight stitch. So if I want to go back to a straight stitch, it doesn't matter where I am on the machine, if I'm doing alphabets, decoratives, anything, just press that and it will take me straight back to a straight stitch. That's it's so just a, good. Because that's the one we use most, isn't it? So it's just a real good quick return. You're using a nice little stylus there as well? That comes with it as well, yes. Do you have to use that? I tend to, otherwise you get finger marks everywhere. <laughs> I, really like I forget way. sometimes, but yeah, it, it does make life easy, especially when we do something like this, otherwise you don't see my finger over everything. So twin needle on this one, it's telling me, yeah. That's set with the, it's a two millimetre twin needle in there, I think, and that's what covers with it. If you're using a wider one, say for stained gloss applique mm -hmm. or something like that, where you're putting a usually seven mm -hmm. mil um, black yeah. binding on it, then you can use a wider one. I'd probably go up to about a five, a five mil. And because we're doing a straight stitch, we know it's going to work. If you're doing a zigzag or where the needle swing is, just wind it through one first. And just check that Yeah, because they're quite expensive to buy twin needles. Yeah. And if you break one, that's it. It's it's finished. So Well, you have that included. Your machine. So that's in there. The other needles we've got in there, I think, are... Have we got a blue tip? Yeah. yeah. We've got it's two quite a universal tips. needle, yeah. isn't it? The blue tips, they are the Janome blue tip needles, which are most I use a lot. You've also got the red tip on the end, which is a heavier top stitch metallic thread needle. Oh, nice. Then we have the fabulous purple tip needles, which just... The, they're great. Bag making, heavy layers, anything. They just magic. So these would all add up to yeah. extra cost, they wouldn't do. they? Yeah. All these nice little added extras. But the machine itself, I mean, it is, um, it, it's so user friendly. It's 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 your workhorse, it isn't is, it? Yeah, definitely. Should we do a little bit of sewing? Because I know that we've um, got to turn the machine round. Yeah. Uh, but it would be really nice to see how well it does. Even yep. just a straight so we can wind the bobbin. Stitch. I've got some fabric here. I'm going to put this little thing there. This one is a nice one to make for people. When you get this is done on a different machine, so some of the stitches will be on here. Some are slightly different. Yeah. But it's just calico and some fabric, That's and it's it. really nice. The machine sits on it. And it gives you a quick stitch reference. Say there are some different stitches on there because yeah. it's of a different machine. It's nice to have a Sunday afternoon where you just have a bit of a play, yeah. isn't it? Now, also, don't forget, if you do want to check out on this machine, it's www.sewingstreet.com is the website. You can see it running along the bottom of the screen. Um, did you want to show that, Paul? There it is. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> uh, there's the website you can see. There we go. So I'm just going to turn that off to turn it round www.sewingstreet.com to shop with us. You do need to create an account. I would absolutely take a couple of minutes to do so, uh, so that if there's something that you want to purchase, you haven't got the faff of doing that. Also have a look because you've got underneath Debbie Shaw's Bits and Bobs, anything that's left from yesterday's show uh, will be there underneath us on the web as well. Okay, spun okay. it round. So spun it round. I'm gonna wind the bobbin first. So the bobbin just pops on the top here. Mm -hmm. I know we probably can't, and I can't put the lid down to show you, but we can't <laughs> wind the bob in then. So we just can see it. So we, we just show as much. We, as we can. just pop it on here. So that goes in. Take that out. Small spool scap on with this one, so that goes underneath. Oh, Jane, there's been so much excitement to see you back on hey. Sewing Street. <laughs> there's so many lovely messages coming in on Facebook, so thank you so much. It's only our second day. I it feels know, like I've put it's my great. old slippers back on. Oh, it's I'm in great, my it's it? just yeah. lovely, isn't it? Oh, isn't it lovely? So, again, I'm going to thread the bobbin. If you look on the top of the machine, which I know we can't hear, you've got a dotted line which shreds the bobbin, so it's under, around that one, around the back, and along. Oh, going under there. I need to put higher heels on. Oh, no. <laughs> this little 
piece here. I know some people have used that before, but it actually cuts the thread for you at the There's end. There's like a little tube, can't yeah, see so that, but you'll we'll see it on the top. We'll show it you later when we whiz it back round again. So I'm just going to take it round. Um, some people pop it through the hole in the bobbin, some people wind it round. All the bottom of the bobbin wind as well. There's little knives, so it would help to switch it back on again, wouldn't it? And then you see, when I've popped the bobbin winder across, the little icons come on there, and that's it. It's just going to wind it up for us. I can take it faster. Speed it up with your um, speed so, control yeah. as well. I always over, I don't know whether I over film my bobbin. Is, is there a... It will, when it stops, it'll ping back. Oh, will it? Yes. Oh, that's good to know as well, isn't it? So, yeah. So I'm just going to stop that because we've probably got enough on there for now. Take it across. The bobbin drops in, so it does show you on the lid, if you ever forget, on the little cover there. But it drops in. I always say to people, P for perfect, or I'm left-handed, so mm -hmm. the top left hand off. Drops in, and it goes underneath both little guides here. If we can pick that up, and round and out, and that's it. That's an easy. And that's it. That goes back on. And then to thread this, press the foots up always because yep. it opens the tension. Let's pop this round through. I always hold this while I'm threading the first bit. And you can on these as well if you think, oh, I can't quite see it. The end will open oh. for you. And it's really nice for dusting and things. I like to well. see in there as well the mechanics of what's going yeah. on. It's, it's, you know, when you lift the bonnet of a car and you see it. Or that, that's... Yeah, so that will open for you if you need to. And it's great to clean in there as well if you need some fleece or something really fluffy. Goes through that one, through there, and there's a little one here. Underneath, you just pop it into the little piece here, and you'll feel it clip in. Pop that down now, and I'm sure, hopefully, I have my needle in the right position. And that's it. Oh, my word. So it's the needle threader on this is brilliant, yeah. isn't it? I know so many people messaging saying that they love the needle I threader. I can't thread machine. needles by eye anymore, I'm afraid. I can't see them. Properly. Oh, well, it, no, I even struggle. if your eyes are, it's perfect. Yeah. It, it's it really just difficult. makes life Backing so much easier. And then we can just pop that out. Yep. Pop it out to the back. And we're good to go. I'm going to leave the satin stitch foot on so that if we do some decorative, so I'm going to take that down a bit. I'm going to start with my needle in. And that won't go any faster if we don't want You're it to. You're not even holding it. No, because it's such a really good feed system on these. So we can do it. So I'm going to take it up a little bit faster. Oh, we haven't got a foot pedal plugged in. No, have I haven't. So if I want to stop now, it's going to stop with the needle in for me. So I can either, if the knee lifts in, we can use that. Or just manually lift it. Just it fairly. It's so quiet and smooth, it isn't is, it? It is, yeah. It is really quiet and smooth. It's lovely. And then we want to finally stop. We can press the lock stitch button. It looks like that it's sort of sorting out your tension for you. You're not going to it's need to really... It's auto-tension, no. No, it's very... If I'm using some odd threads or a very odd fabric, then I might need to, but very, very seldom. And it would just so beautifully for you. Yeah, see, it's... This is... I mean, don't get me wrong. I love machines that are, you know, all singing and dancing. Mm. Jazz hands, got everything on there. Yep. But also, you just want to know... It does a straight stitch without skipping a stitch. A perfect stitch, straight perfectly. stitch, because most of us, that's the most that we do. Of straight course. stitching or zigzags, isn't it? So we can do a straight stitch on there. So again, because we've got no width on a straight stitch, we've got... I'm going to pop that there. You've got 91 different needle positions. So you're just altering the I'm just the altering width. it on the width here. And it's just, we'll go right from zero to nine mil. So it's 91 positions on Gosh, there. Gosh, that's brilliant. It's, it's great for... I know I've got friends who are absolutely, you know, millimetre perfect mm -hmm. quilting. I'm not one of them. I hasten it's to important, add. isn't it? Some people I've really are very... And whatever. you can alter that by a mill, so it really is good. So we'll go both ways. And then if you want to go back to your default, you can just touch a little quick screen. We can't see on that on the screen. We haven't got the I'll turn it round back. later. Yeah. yeah, we can have... Can we turn it... Can we? If I turn it round a little bit more, can we... See that might be a bit better. So you can see... I can, on oh, the, should I sew back to front? See how we get yeah, on. Yeah, let's see how good Jane is at yeah, sewing back yeah. to front. So at the bottom, you've got those sort of root back to straight stitch. Uh, yeah. What's the, what are the this other is, ones? This is little move the needle to the left for you. That's a zigzag. And that's the standard buttonhole. Brilliant. So they're just real quick returns. So you could be doing something else and go, oh, I need to go and do that. So just it's, a, it it's like your yeah. speed dial, isn't it? Yeah, it is almost. All yes. home. Yeah. yeah. So again with mode, um, on the satin stitches in mode, which I know Victoria was showing, we could got the elongation on here as well, the same as the 720. Oh, lovely, so that's they? this one here. Um, you can also mirror image patterns. 
Oh, so some of the real decorative. I mean, you've got some lovely pictorial yeah. stitches on here. The mm. scissors, you've got the... Um... I'll, I'll pop those together in a minute for you when we do a sequence oh, nice. and show you them. So you've got lots of different features on there. One that people tend to forget about a lot is this little one here. And it's a start over button, or I always say it back to beginning. Right. Um, and it's really handy. I was using it doing applique because when you get to the corners, how often do we sit there going, right, where am I going now? What's going to happen? So if you just sort of stop at the end, pivot, start over, and you know that you're going to start from the beginning of the stitch again. So that's really handy. It takes a little bit of practice to get it down, but yeah. it's well worth doing. Oh, you can see why we all love this machine. Yeah. You can see why. And it's again, so say you were doing some crazy quilting on one of these, and you've got a sharp angle to turn. Again, you can needle in, pivot, start over function, and then you're back to the beginning of the stitch, so you know where it's going to go. Oh, that's so that's really, that handy. really handy. Yeah. Um, and again, the lockout function is great. If you've got paws Not, or little hands, paws, little around. hands, or even if I'm changing the foot or the bobbin or the stitch plate, just lock the machine out. Yeah. So the, we've all done it before with the foot pedal. Something makes you jump and your foot goes on the foot pedal. <laughs> and you try not to say through your fingers at that point. So. I do like all these features, especially, it's, as I keep saying, yeah. so user-friendly, isn't it? It really is, yeah. So if we want to put a stitch sequence together, we're in mode one. We're going to go into mode two. So I literally just touch mode. Because this machine has a memory, doesn't it? it you can memorise the... the sequences, but it won't save them on the machine. Yeah. But they're so quick and easy yeah. to put together. That, Brilliant. And I always tend to play with the same ones because I like them on here so we've got the serpentine stitch to start with um, the other one I do want to quickly cover on here so we've got lots of decorative quilt stitches on here are these mock hand quilting oh gosh I don't think I've seen that number 36 no, and 37 I actually sat there last night and did that because it, it oh. looks this is my favourite kind of quilting yeah. it looks like you've hand quilted it does you pop a clear thread in the top oh wow your coloured thread whatever it might be in the bobbin um and it will tell you all the settings in the book. And then it looks as though you've hand-stitched because it, it pulls the bottom thread up. Ah, oh, that's really good. And right, that literally is a default. And I literally, to me, it you always looks better. So I think that's 5, 4.5, 4, and 3.5. Oh, so make it a little bit longer. But they're just a really looks lovely like you've way hand of hand-quilting. Yeah. For people like me who don't particularly quickly. like hand-quilting. <laughs> So that's just a really nice feature on them. And it's one that we don't often... I see so many ladies at shows who've gone, oh, but my machine doesn't do that. And I go, it, it probably does. does. Yeah. Just have a little look. So I'm going to pop these together. So to put a sequence together, I literally type the number in. Memory. So that was the M button under yeah, the 9 that you so pressed then? Eight, four, memory. 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 So it will do that sequence for me now. It will continually do that. Okay. But if I only want it to do it once, there's a little lock stitch on the end here. Number 87. Yeah. So I just put 87 in. Memory. And that's put the little lock stitch on for me. So now I know that it's just going to do those three and stop. But if you want to put a sequence together to start um, to do something different, then that half speed and off we go. So it will do those, and it's showing me which stitch it's showing, which stitch it's sewing first. So it will go through. I, I just love how smooth it is. You can see that is like yeah. no hands. How that is brilliant. I've got my thread caught. I can't, I can't see from my back to front sewing. I have got some thread caught here. There we go. That's better. So Maybe that will just get on with doing. It will just do that, that sequence for me that I've put in, and then it will stop. And there's another little icon here where it's got the lock stitch and the scissors so if i activate that before i start as soon as it lock stitches it automatically cuts you don't even have to press the button to cut so that's really good so let's pop that one so then if you put back to the start it would do that sequence again yep so it's just a little how quick is that so quick and easy to do and don't forget you've got your mirror image as well so you can build your patterns up even more right and that's the button this under is the, the little one, one here yeah like the two little Half circles here, one light, one dark. So it's this one. Ah, and that will give you the mirror image. So if you wanted to do it the reverse, any yeah. other ones. So the if other you way wanted around. to flip them the other way around, so you wanted to flip the needle the other way yeah. around and things like that. So it is, <gasps> yep. That's so good. And it also has, um, it, does it, it monogramming, am I saying? Yeah, it, so you've yeah. got the alphabets, you've got four different ones, you've got this rig, but you've got a seven millimeter here, which is upper and lowercase, and the nine millimeter alphabet is an uppercase only. Right, okay, that's on mode six. You've got mode three is a seven mil, and yeah. you've got a few symbols on here. 
And then mode six is the uppercase. I tend to use this one for quilt labels. Oh, lovely. So it's really handy to do for those. Yeah, yeah. that's really good, isn't it? Mm. Uh, so, I mean, it is. It's just never ending. Uh, spend a Sunday doing yourself a bit of a sampler Just do book. a sampler, so all the little mat to sit it on or something like yeah. that. You can do all sorts of bits and pieces. So yeah, that's absolutely. off one of my other machines. So some of the stitches are slightly different. different. But it does just give you a bit of an idea of, yep. of, of all and the lovely And it's really quick stitching. and it just sits the machine on it. So it's a little pad, protector pad for the table. And that's it. That's it. So we've got, how long left did you say, Sammy Paul? Eight minutes, seven Ooh, wow, minutes. that's gone I know. really quickly, how quick hasn't it, it? We haven't mentioned buttonholes yet. So we've got the buttonhole foot here, which if you look, you think that's not like my buttonhole foot. It's got the stabiliser plate with it. So it's really handy. If you've got a heavy seam or a stretchy fabric, yeah. you can just sit the fabric in you squash it together yeah and it will feed it through then so it just feeds it through so there's no drag on it Gosh. it's not going to eat it you've also got the option here to make it a slightly longer or shorter buttonhole if you want so depending on the size of your button I'm yeah so say yeah. you want say you've got a really deep button you might want to make it a little bit longer if you're doing like a jersey or a stretchy fabric you mm -hmm. might want to make it a little bit shorter we've all had those blouses where the buttonholes yeah aren't quite right yeah. <laughs> oh well, i think this is why a lot of people get into to sewing and dressmaking yeah. is because they're uh they 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 have that from shop garments. They yes. think this button and they don't fit right, properly either. Right. We're, we're not all fit. one size, no. are we? No, absolutely. So it's literally it's a standard one. So the button pops in the back, buttonhole lever comes down. I think there's 10 different buttonholes on this, so it's one for everything. Gosh. And then it just will sew it straight for you. But that stabiliser plate is a really nice add-on. Oh, brilliant. And that I isn't think. a standard with, uh, with every it's machine. It's not with all the machines. Right. It's with the bigger machines. And again, you've got your spare spool pin, which pops in here. So is that when you're doing twin, twin needles, needles mm -hmm. or anything like that? Yeah, so you've got another spill pin there, so that will go in there. It is quality, isn't it? It's, it's just it's gonna last, it's gonna help with all of your jobs, all yeah. of your sewing. And mm. I know a lot of people now, I think almost since the over the last few years, we've seen it more and more and more that quilters yeah. are doing a bit of dressmaking and dressmakers are doing some quilting. quilting and, and we all like making, making bags. That's and then it. you know, it's like I've got a little grandson, so I do his pajamas and things yeah. like that. Because you can't tell me off if they're not perfect. <laughs> so it's a nice to be able to have yeah. a machine it is that's going to do yeah, it all. It will cover everything for you. Yeah. And again, we, we briefly looked at the manual. But if you go back in, it's... Well, that's handy. It's open on the front page, which is... It's got... Oh, oh I'm throwing that away. I'll catch it in a minute. It's got all the different buttonholes on here. And it actually tells you what they are, right. what to use them for. So you've got all the different, you've got all the information on there that you need. So if you think, oh, I'm not sure what to put on this fabric. Yeah. It will tell you. It will tell you on there, yeah. Of course, that's so and again, all the different stitches as well. Oh, I so mean, as will. I say, there's over, what did you say, 190? 170, 170 stitches on there. 170 stitches on there. But then you have got the combinations. It's endless, I suppose, Combinations, really, isn't it? Yeah. changing your satin stitches, as we saw with yep. Victoria with the 720. Mm -hmm. As soon as you start altering the stitch width and yep. length. Length, then it brings a whole new thing to it as well, so it's different. And the other thing as well, I like applique. You've got some really good applique stitches on the top here including the little invisible blind hem one as well, which is really tiny. Mm -hmm. so oh, it's I love just, that. And again, with the applique, you've got that ability to tweak them all to your settings as to what you want. And then you've got the visual on there. So we always sample things first, so I just make a note on it. Yeah, absolutely. And that's it. So with your applique, as I say, quilting, you've got that extra wide you've throat got the space, extra hasn't here. It? Yeah. And the other side actually looks like you've got more it's, space. It's a so nice it's solid, yeah. yeah, and it's quite a nice solid wide base as well. They're just... I know that we mentioned earlier, of course, all of the feet come as standard and also the extension table. table now, it will also it. have little feet on it. Little feet are there. We oh, do yeah. wind them in. And again, you can alter the height on those. If it's not quite level on your table, you can alter the feet so it sits level. Or if, yeah, if yeah. your table or your floor yeah. isn't level, yeah. then so that's... You can, you can do those. And again, you've got the inch and centimetre markings on there as well. Really handy so to have. that's really, really handy. Yeah. It's a machine that is going to grow with you. Yeah, really, you've got it? lots and lots to get into with this. Fantastic. Right, literally three minutes left. Is there anything else that you want to go over? I think we've covered it's most so things. Much, we could say we could carry on all day with it. I think with a lot of it, it's just the ease of use with this machine. Yeah. It's so easy to use. So if I've done the decorative stitching, I want to go back to the seam, I can just go there and it yeah. takes me straight back to the default settings. And it's a very clear screen. It's very easy to use. So again, that little one I didn't pop on. So if I pop that on, the scissors have appeared. So now mm -hmm. every time I lock stitch, it will automatically cut for me. Mm -hmm. We haven't even got to press the button, which is great. 
Um, I think there's lots of different bits and pieces on here. You'll say we could go through all day with it. I think it's just the easiest. We normally do. You would do a whole do. day workshop. We do all sorts through. of bits and pieces. And then again, with different bits and pieces with sewing as well. But it's just the ease of use. It's very easy to use. It's quite clear. It's quite easy. You know, mode one, mode two, three, five, six. Yeah. You're going to get to know this machine very, very well because mm. it is going to be our go-to machine yeah. for all of the shows. We love this. I know the 680, 680 plus has mm. been favourite of lots of our, it does, uh, our guest yeah. designers. I see so these. many people who've got it and yeah. the guest designers, a lot of them have got it as well. Yeah. I so bet when you're at shows, a lot of people come and say. I see a lot of ladies at shows and yeah. gentlemen as well. Yeah. Um, I know when the first ever started with them and I did some training with all the staff a long time ago and started them on like the the other machines that didn't have all the features yeah. and everybody wanted this one by the oh. end well that's it it's very user friendly but it's not by any means basic it's, it's not a basic <laughs> machine at all <laughs> yeah you know you can get some machines which have got about 12 stitches on which some people it's fine yeah. for but this has got so much to grow with oh, well I, I, i've mentioned the word sort of singing and dancing and jazz hands mm. there's nothing novelty about it these are no, all very useful they're all things, very useful features, features yeah. that you get into very quickly and you just rely on them all the yeah. time that's it, it really you know, does. sometimes when you buy a gift set and you've got lots of bits with it, but you're thinking, I'm not going to use, use that, that or that, that or that yeah. or that. Yeah. Whereas these are all bits that you are going to use. Yeah. It's not Elna just chucking in things that you're not no, necessarily going to use. No, you're going to use them all. You're going to use everything on here for all they the different They have thought about of... every aspect, Absolutely, haven't they? Absolutely, yes, yeah. Especially with the value for money, like we were saying, some of these feet, mm -hmm. we're looking at £50 there, another £50 here, yeah. and, and, and so on and so and forth. I think, I thought I'd say with Elna, there's always something extra. So you've got your little bobbin case, which is an Elna yeah. exclusive. So I haven't seen them anywhere else. And I love those because you can just pop the end of the thread underneath the little disc and yeah. say so you don't end up, you open the box. I've got about four boxes like that and I put them all in neatly. Yeah. And then next time you go in, they're just like a mess. Yeah. You just sort everything out again. It's so little things like that. It that is that makes a difference, yeah. Uh, and just to remind you, thank you very, very much for you adding very on the, uh, the extra yes. guarantee, <laughs> the extra warranty yeah. as well. So just to remind you for a very, very... Well, there's a very limited number of machines that we can offer this with where you get a five-year warranty with it mm -hmm. as well, which is yeah. fantastic through yeah. Alna. Um, that would normally be in an extra cost. So thank you You're so very much welcome. for that. What an amazing machine to bring <laughs> yeah, for your first show. Yeah, and fabulous. we'll see you very soon. I'm we? sure you will. Thank you <laughs> so much. Thanks. You've got a I'll long journey you home. Oh, I have a terribly long journey. <laughs> <laughs> Literally lives about five minutes down the road. So thank That's you great. very, very much. I will Jane. see you again. Thank you. See you again. Okay, Remember, if you do want to take advantage of the 680 plus exclusive deal here in the UK uh, then you can purchase it today at www.sewingstreet.com create an account uh, with our customer service team if that's easier if you are struggling to, to uh, start your account online then absolutely speak to the team they're so lovely and of course they're here to help all completely free to start an account uh, or speak to the team. It's completely free to speak to the, the customer service team. So I just want to reiterate, for anybody that is tuning in for the first ever time, welcome to Sewing Street. We're a brand new channel, only launched yesterday. Uh, at the moment, we're at, on air an hour every single day. So nine o'clock in the morning, tune in, set your alarm, be there because we're gonna have different guest designers, different products, different offers, uh, lots of tips, lots of interaction as well. We want you involved, of course. Uh, over the years, we've built up an amazing sewing community and a sewing family, and we want to encourage more and more of you to, to pick up a needle and thread or plug in your sewing machine and get making quilting dressmaking bag making toy making cross stitch embroidery maybe a bit of slow stitching bit of mindfulness which um we're really really looking forward to so there's lots going on behind the scenes and I must say we're on air at the moment and we look like swans, don't we? Just going along as normal. But actually there's so much that's going on behind the scenes with our team. They've been amazing uh, doing, doing their best to build and build and build as we're hopefully going to be doing uh, two hours very soon, then three hours and four hours and building up the show. So do make sure you take advantage of the fact that it's one postage and packaging all day long, no matter how many times you check out, which is brilliant, just £3.95 all day long, including the machine, which, to remind you, will come through Elna. Uh, it will come from Elna. It's exclusive to us here in the UK at Sewing Street. So absolutely take advantage of that. As I say, the, the first machine that we wanted to bring in, we wanted to bring something that we know is, without a doubt, the most popular machine that we know of, which is this one. So we're very lucky to have that exclusivity here in the UK. It's 1,099 
£3 with our PMP of £3.95, which is to remind you, just one PMP all day. Now, for anybody, as I say, that is new to us, there's lots of ways to interact and there's lots of ways to get involved. So you can watch this show back at any point on YouTube. If you search Sewing Street TV on YouTube, uh, then you'll be able to recap on any of the pre records that we did last week, yesterday's live show with Debbie Shaw, or of course, you can watch Jane Brogan's uh, show back on YouTube. That'll be loaded any minute. You can also get in touch with us via our Facebook page. This is, as I say, it's such a community here. We want to have your say. We want to see your makes, your products, your projects, your suggestions. Let us know what you would like to see on the show. Facebook.com forward slash Sewing Street TV. Or um, alternatively as well, please do sign up. I say alternatively as well as that. Please do sign up to our newsletter. Uh, lovely Hayley from our marketing team back at Sewing Quarter. She's on board now at Sewing Street as well. She's doing all your newsletters. So she will keep you in the loop with everything that's going to be coming up over the, the next few weeks. A lot of people are asking, what, sorry? About family members about the machine. We'll be there all day, all day, all day. Speak to the customer service team. I'll see you tomorrow at nine o'clock.